Hey guys, it's Lindbergh from Gone Durden, and today we're gonna make some Vietnamese pho in Kauai. Actually, it's not Kauai, but we've been on the road now for about five days, and here on this beach, it's been getting kind of chilly at night, and the perfect meal at night for that would be, you know, a bowl of pho. Super simple, it just needs a little bit of time and a day where you're just at camp, maybe reading some books, playing some hopscotch, you know, taking some naps, some time where you know you're in one place for a long time so you can let this brew. Uh, overall, there is a, a, a very easy little cheat that I do to cut some time from the broth, but some of the meats to need some time to get tender. So yeah, there's that. Um, so let's talk about ingredients, it's super simple. Uh, we have, of course, our most important thing, which is oxtail. Here we go. We have one of these. And then next, outside of oxtail, is chuck. We're gonna use about half of this chuck. Um, we're, we're only feeding about three people today, but this dish and recipe could feed up to eight people. It's a lot of food, super cheap, super simple, really delicious. Um, outside of the beef, we have some aromatics, which is onion and ginger and then we have this this is the most important bit this is the pho spice pack i'm gonna link this in, uh, uh, in the description so get it if you don't have it anywhere near you uh, you can get it in ethnic aisles these days uh, so just look out for it it's just it's a pho spice pack and it comes with a little tea bag that you can put all the spices in and it flavors everything up and the next up is the cheap so bone broth it's super easy to get bone broth these days um, if there's anything that us hipsters have done well over the years has made things really expensive. Uh, Asians have been making bone broth for goddamn centuries, but hipsters come and say, you know what, this is worth 16 bucks, let's do it. Um, so get the bone broth that cuts up a lot of time uh, from just everything, you know, and yeah, next up is chicken stock. Uh, this is a kind of an inspiration from um, pho that we've had in Vietnam, northern style pho. Uh, it's a combination of both beef and chicken and that's it just makes for a really good just simple clean broth so yeah let's get started putting broth So the thing about getting the beef bone broth, so like this one's from your local hipster market, uh, the problem with getting these is the broth is not clear. Uh, you're not going to get a clear broth from this recipe specifically. If you want a clear broth, you're going to have to start from all the way from scratch or buy bone broth, not bone broth, um, just regular beef broth. It's a little bit clearer than bone broth. Um, yeah. And so we put in the two broths and next goes in water. I'm just gonna fill that boy up like that. Heat it up. And the oxtail goes straight in. Nothing done to it, nothing special. Here we go. See you later, oxtail. All right, and then aromatics go in. Keep it real simple. We're doing a whole, uh, one whole onion. Uh, we're just gonna take off the peel, and throw it in, not even chop it. Makes things simple out here while we're camping. One whole onion, going in. Next up, ginger. Very important. So we're gonna use, uh, this is a big piece, but we're gonna build out this chunk right here. And um, I'm not gonna comment about this. But we're gonna cut it off. All right, super rough chop. This one, we're just gonna cut it into very thick slices, very thin, thick slices, just so the juice can get through. You don't even have to peel them. Don't peel them, keep the skin on them. Just make sure there's some openings where the ginger juices can come out. Like so, there we go. 
All right, though, that's that. Next up, we're gonna cut the beef. This is a three pound chunk of chuck. Um, normally, recipes of pho require either brisket or something like that, or a flank or something. Um, chuck's just easier to get in most big grocers, so I prefer the chuck just because it's easy to get to, especially if you've been on the road for a while and you don't have access to, say, a really good butcher or, um, or any ethnic stores. So, yeah, we're gonna cut this up into small pieces just so it could cook a little bit better. Cut through it. There we go. So I'm gonna get let this brew over coals. I'm not sure you can see it, but let's see, right there. That's my Snow Peak uh, fire pit. Coals are going right now, and I'm just gonna maintain that thing for the next three to four hours, just until the the the, uh, the chuck and the um, oxtail is tender. And that's usually the sign to do, that you're okay to pull off and season. So here we go. So I'm gonna cut the chuck into like little small pieces like this. It's just gonna cook quicker like this. Here we go, in they go. Here we go, this one too. In they go. All right, there we go. And I need something to wash my hands. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the next bit is, you know, just keeping the spices going. We're gonna bring this up to a boil first before that happens. Make sure everything's like dunked in. So another thing that's gonna happen is since we've been on the road for a little bit, um, since we've been on the road for a little bit, uh, we've kept the meat in f frozen, you know? And frozen meat usually makes the impurities come out a lot more. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna skim off the impurities once this is boiled. Um, that's gonna take another, you know, couple minutes after this is boiled, bring it to a simmer, skim the impurities, and then bring it back onto the, the coals. Yeah. Once we get to the coals, it's my dog. She's going nuts about ghosts or whatever, anything going on. Um, so we're gonna skim the impurities. If there is any, keep the broth as clean as possible. Uh, and then you'll see me do that in just a little bit. Hi, camera. Um, yeah, so let that come to a boil. And then skim away. I have a bowl here for the impurities. So this is most important, this is like, the hardest part in the whole process of making this dish is literally just throw some stuff into a pot and kind of babysit it while it's on the fire while I kind of just gotta make sure there's always heat we're doing a low and slow simmer this whole time like three four hours so you just have to redo coals and refire them up and you know you know we're gonna go through that but it's super simple so here you go look this we got some scum going on right here we're just gonna skim that off right here Skim in the scum before it even boils. This is super important if you want the broth to maintain a very clean flavor. So this is a recipe for about eight people. We are only feeding three people today, but best part about pho is next goddamn day pho. So we're gonna have this for breakfast tomorrow. It's gonna be even more delicious than it is today. So skimmed, and now we're gonna put in the spice mix. This is super important. That goes in just as is, and then see you later, alligator. We cover up. Let's go over to, let's go over there. So here we go. Here it is. And we're just going to keep this going. Uh, it's hot. So I have coals going on here with the trivet. That's just enough to do that. And then I have my chimney here, which we're going to start new coals pretty soon. Just to keep the heat going at all times. All right. That's that. Oh, look at that view.
excited about? What? What are you really excited about? Fuck. Hell yeah, we're getting fall soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Me too. So cold, ready for fall right now. I think we have another hour ahead of us, but we're just probably another hour. An hour? Yeah. I'm glad I took a nap. Yeah. Made it. So. Not this long. Yeah, I know, but. No, I said I made it. I napped. For sure, but. Ready though. One hour later. So it's been a couple hours as you can see and it's rather cold. So we're really looking forward to this big bowl of pho that's coming up. Uh, it's been on the charcoals for about three and a half hours. And I'm gonna finish it off on the stove just to get it back up to temperature. And then we're gonna take out the meat and slice that up and start making bowls and oh yeah oh yeah we gotta season first so yeah we're gonna season and do that so that's yeah we're gonna do that Let's see what this looks like oh man that's what i took a long hard nap for <laughs> so seasoning we're gonna get that back up to a boil and we're gonna season so this most important fish sauce salt and this is optional but it just makes things better chicken bouillon do that and normally a pho recipe from home if you cook it at home requires rocks rock sugar uh, we're just gonna use regular sugar and that's about it and then i guess we talk about garnish while we're waiting for this to boil so we're gonna garnish with uh the uh, an onion cilantro and uh bean sprouts Bean sprouts. Bean we sprouts. Grab those. Yeah, we gotta grab those out and then we'll. Yeah, I mean, so this is a. I, I was thinking, well, this is all brewing. This is a fairly water intensive cook. So if you do plan on cooking this, make sure you do have access to a, quite a bit of water and you're not using too much of your water that you need if you're out for a long, dis, long periods of time. Um, yeah, we're about to get back into civilization so we know. We're, we're to fill up our water, our gray water, and um, yeah, so we're gonna, be, we're gonna be good after this. So I have two pots here. This one is gonna be for my um, my noodles. I'm gonna cook some noodles. So here's my noodles. I use, I prefer fresh noodles, just because it's so much quicker to cook than dry noodles. Uh, they might be a little harder to find. Um, you kind of need an ethnic Asian grocery store to get these boys. Uh, if you could find them, get them. If you can't, you do the dry ones. Dry ones are fine. Um, Korean stores would also have these things too. Uh, I'm trying to think where else. Um, you can't get them on, on Amazon, sadly. Uh, yeah, get the fresh kind. It's always in the refrigerated section near the tofu if you're ever in an Asian grocery store. Sprouts. I mean, I could also just do a facial while I'm at it. I'm getting a steam facial right you want now. A, a fish sauce facial? No. No, you don't want a fish sauce facial. Sounds... So, seasoning wise, I'm gonna do a ladle of fish sauce. Whatever a ladle is, I don't even know what the measurement is, but a goddamn ladle. Whoa. A scoop? Yeah. That's all of my fish sauce. Oh no! We have to go get more. Oh no, it's all of our fish sauce? It's all of our fish sauce. Okay. And then I'm gonna do four handfuls of sugar. Three, three. Let's try three. Let's try three. Yeah, that's Hefty right. pinches. Hefty pinches of Hefty sugar. Yeah. And then scoops. there we go. Chicken bouillon goes in. That was six shakes. <laughs> We're being scientific here, guys. Um, I mean, this is seasoned to taste as always. So 
season to whatever you heck you want. And do some salt. One, two, three, four. Mix that up. Hey, we should take these guys out too. Take on the meats. So here's one piece of meat. Two. Okay, let that and cool you're down. You're leaving the bone in there. Hmm. You're leaving the. Um, yeah. What is that again? Oxtail. Oxtail. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, I would not. I would just get like a little spoon. That thing's been in there for a while. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. No more sugar. There's that a spoon right here. Oh, yeah. Do that for Alex and stuff. Let that simmer away for a little longer. My cat. All right, so we'll simmer that away for just a little bit longer. And now we're gonna cut the meat. You know, we're gonna start the garnish and you know, it's pretty, all pretty simple. So with the onions, you're just cutting it in half and dicing it away into long strips. Kind of like noodles, you want um, onion noodles basically. It's just easier to eat because everything's kind of the same size. Awesome. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got some scrap. If you're going to get uh, um, pho seasoning or pho sauce or whatever the heck you call it, get this stuff. Don't get the Lee Kum Kee stuff. Get the stuff with Asian characters on it and you can't understand. Lee Kum Kee sucks compared to this shit. Okay, that's my PSA. Always get this stuff. We're gonna use this stuff for, for dipping and if you want, you can season it, but yeah. Anyways, that's my PSA for today. Don't get Lee Kum Kee. meats so with the chuck you want to cut it up to like these these slices um, you could get fancy and use rare beef but I was telling Alex here who's gonna eat the pho too um, I don't know he'll, he'll come around um, that it's it's hard to travel with thinly sliced rare beef um, so I always say if you're gonna do pho do stuff do stuff that takes that could store really well um, you know, like like chuck, like I'm saying, chuck, and then oxtail stores really well. You could freeze it if you have a freezer, and if not, then you could store it really cold, and it won't be any different because you're just boiling it away for a long time and getting it soft. And we are gonna have extra, so Stella and Kaya will have dinner as well. They're definitely gonna have dinner. Actually, I kid, um, Stella and Kaya, they, we cook their own food. I thought it might be actually going to be another video. We, we cook their own food and we do it once every month and it's way cheaper and better for them than anything else that you could buy. Ooh, it's hot. Say hi, Alex. Hello. Let's see how this is. <laughs> There's no seasoning on it. No. Everything's like. 
Alright. So cilantro is optional. Uh, there's a lot of people that I know that, mm, you know, this stuff tastes like soap, but luckily it doesn't taste like soap to us, so we eat it. It's real good. And if you do have cilantro and it tastes like soap, then condolences. Rough chop. Rough, rough chop. We're camping. So, no need to be perfect. Just going into a bowl and then into our mouths. And hours later, it comes out. Circle of life. I'm really excited for this. Okay, turn that down. Put the meat down. Now this is my bowl. Dang, that looks so good. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It will right. warm up your soul while you're freezing at camp. Pepper in. Sorry. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my God, holy, mm, mm. Mm, look at that view and I'm having a bowl of fun. Oh yeah, all right, so that's that. This is super simple. Super good. I mean, let's look at that. Kawaii. Not kawaii. But make this, and I'll see you next time.